Hey everyone, today we're gonna to talk all about internet and Wi-Fi on board your favorite airlines. We're gonna tackle about the top 10 airlines in the US. We're gonna go through which ones have basic Wi-Fi, which ones have streaming Wi-Fi, and which ones have no Wi-Fi at all. So let's get into it. Hey everyone, John here from Bite Size Travels. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking all about internet and Wi-Fi on board of the top 10 airlines in the U.S. So most airlines at this point have some type of Wi-Fi offering. Some of them range in pricing from free to 30, 40, 50 bucks per flight. You can also look into options like T-Mobile. T-Mobile offers streaming Wi-Fi on some flights and some airlines as well. We'll get into that in a little bit. So let's start talking about the top 10 airlines in the US. First up, Alaska Airlines. They do have in-flight Wi-Fi on most flights. It's usually around eight bucks, can be up to 25. They do offer a basic Wi-Fi and a streaming Wi-Fi package on certain different flights. They do have texting as well. You can text, uh, not in addition to any other costs, just have the basic Wi-Fi. You cannot do SMS though, just straight up texting. So they do also have a catalog of free movies and TV shows like most of the airlines do at this point, but you can get in there and you can, when you message, you're gonna have um, slight, a slight restriction on it. If you do the basic Wi-Fi, you're gonna be limited to like iMessage, Facebook Messenger, and WhatsApp. SMS is not supported, uh, and you can't send pictures and videos, obviously, because those are SMS. Uh, and they do not allow you to make uh, voice calls, video calls, like FaceTime and Zoom, things like that. That's on basic. So on your streaming Wi-Fi, you can do a lot more there still are some things that are blocked. So this is available on all your Boeing 737 aircrafts, as well as Airbus and Embraer's, the E-175 aircrafts. Uh, the basic slower Wi-Fi you can find on 737 700s and 737-900. So <clears throat> again, you have your internet options there. Again, if you do have T-Mobile, it will work on uh, Alaska Airlines it is free. You can just spin it up and you're good to go. Let's talk about Allegiant Air. Allegiant Air does not have Wi-Fi. How is this possible? It's 2024. Um, they just want you to sit back and uh, enjoy your flight. So uh, no such luck. American Airlines, yes, on domestic flights. So most domestic flights as well. Somewhere between 10 and 20 bucks. They do have streaming video and the same. They do have texting, but no SMS. So you can do high speed Wi-Fi, but it's only on certain flights. You have to check it out. You have to really look through the, the details there. Um, you can get most of the internet for $10. There are also like AA Advantage if you're like part of their membership program, you can get deals. Uh, you can also do a monthly where you get monthly internet if you're flying a lot. Uh, and they use GoGo. Uh, on most of their flights, which is using Viasat, which is a satellite similar to Starlink. Next up, let's talk about Delta. Delta offers in-flight Wi-Fi. It is free for SkyMiles customers and $10 for non-members. Non Same thing as American. They do have streaming video, yes, on texting, but no SMS. They as well use Viasat. Uh, they do have uh, it on most of their airplanes. They have it on the Airbuses and the Boeings. Remember, if, you, if you're a SkyMiles member, you get it for free, which is great. Uh, also, T-Mobile works there, so you have that on Delta as well. There are, it's gonna be a lot of them that have T-Mobile, which is really nice. Frontier, do we even need to say it? They do not have Wi-Fi. They barely have chairs. So it is the, uh, it is the Greyhound of the sky. So yeah, you're, you're just screwed if you're on Frontier. You just have to video everything and then post it on TikTok when you get off. Hawaiian Airlines, they do in fact have Wi-Fi. It is free, you can stream and there is no SMS, but you can text. They have Starlink, so uh, it is open and available for you as you get on. That is wonderful. JetBlue, yes, they have uh, Wi-Fi. Yes, it is free. 
Yes, you can stream video and yes, you can text with no SMS again. So they offer this free for through Viasat. They're the only one that offered free until uh, Hawaiian Airlines jumped in there with Starlink. But yeah, it's free. It's for you and ready to go. And you have full access to Peacock during your videos. Next up, Southwest. Yes, they have Wi-Fi. It is $8 per device. No streaming. So you... Uh, you do have some on-demand TV shows and movies that they will allow you to watch. You can text, uh, again, no SMS. So uh, you can text for free as well. You don't have to purchase the internet plan. So not all of them have Wi-Fi, but a lot of the Southwest uh, flights do. Again, you cannot use uh, Netflix or Hulu or anything like that, and you cannot use Zoom or Teams or anything like that as well. Next up, Spirit. Shockingly, yes, they have Wi-Fi. It is $6 to browse and text. It is $8 to stream. They offer the fastest in-flight Wi-Fi of any airline based in the U.S. Pretty crazy. You can get up to 400 megs per second there, which is amazing. Really, really good. So um, you're likely going to get way less than that, but you can get up to that. Again, they have it on a chunk of their Airbus uh, A320s and A321s, and they're still rolling it out to the A319s. Now let's talk about United. Yes, $8 uh, for Mileage Plus members, $10 for non. Sometimes you can get streaming, sometimes you can't. Really depends on the flight. You have to check it once you get on there. Uh, most North American flights, you're gonna, they have different providers. GoGo, Panasonic, Fails, and Viasat. So a lot of different providers there. It's all supposed to change soon. It's supposed to be going to Starlink in early 2025, and that is going to provide a much, much faster and better experience for everyone. So there you go. Most of the time, they're not going to allow you to use YouTube or Netflix, but occasionally you will be able to do that. Again, certain flights here, you will be able to use your T-Mobile as well. The T-Mobile package, if you fly a lot or travel a lot internationally, no matter what you think about their uh, service, it really is a game changer. So that's really, really, really huge. Uh, that's it. That is our top 10 airlines that have Wi-Fi and what it is. And they're, they're basically the top 10 um, airlines in the U.S. So we're telling you what's available from a Wi-Fi or if you just need to grab a book and download some movies which is fine with me as well. Sometimes it's nice to just shut it down, right? Um, so that is it for today. If you found this helpful or useful, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel. Come along and join us on this amazing travel life. We also have another channel called Bite Size Cruises where we talk all about planning and going on an amazing cruise vacation. We would love for you to subscribe there as well. It doesn't cost you anything at all, but it's really helpful to us. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. We will see everybody tomorrow. Enjoy your Wi-Fi on your flight.